Good afternoon, good afternoon, it is 12.43. Decided to do a vlog today about Steam Hunt's journey so far in the last year, mainly from a mods perspective in terms of where we've come from, where we've gone to, but more because today we are listed on the Daybit Exchange. And a couple of days ago, I did my first transaction um, from Hunt, from the Hunt wallet, uh, which are ERC20 tokens into Daybit today. Actually, the deposit was only open from t from today. Even though we could sign up and uh, we got access a little bit earlier to check out the wallet so we can send tokens out to MetaMask, which is what it supports, which is just a little plug-in wallet that you can get for Chrome. I don't know if it works on other browsers. I think it works on other browsers, uh, Firefox and stuff. And um, I did a test, transferred it from the ERC20 wallet on Steam Hunt to MetaMask. That worked perfectly. It didn't see the custom tokens because as far as MetaMask is concerned, it doesn't know what the Hunt tokens are. So we need to add the image for Hunt tokens over there. I presume somebody from the team is going to do that at some point. But it's as easy as finding the Ethereum contract ad address and adding it as a token. As soon as you put the contract ad address in, it sees the Hunt token. And then you put the decimal places and it kind of fills out all that in for you. Click on OK and it shows you the hunt tokens in that wallet once you're logged into it. You need obviously your password for it or your seed for that, which is normally a 12 word sequence of words, um, which most wallets have. So today was kind of an interesting experience, kind of why I, I wrote a little bit about the storage of value. Um, I... I kind of step through these things to see what they feel like in terms of interacting with digital packets of the web. You know, I, I take my mind back a couple of years when I just randomly would put tweets out or take photos of things or put stuff on Instagram or put stuff on Facebook or spend time on Facebook looking for conversations, looking for updates, looking for something interesting. And it's it's funny how I see that in my daughter now, how she interacts with like social media. And yeah, I've got really not a lot to show for doing that. It was kind of just a somewhere, an out, outlet for that stuff in my life. I have this mobile phone in my hand. What can I do with it? You know, it used to be that you had a mobile phone. It was just, you could ring people or text people. And then we ended up with this supercomputer in our pocket, which could do a million things. You know, geolocation, tracking, photos, gyroscopes, panoramics, the lot. Which I think led me into... Oh, so you do that with this thing and then you put this elsewhere. But you don't get anything back. I mean, you might get a like and you might get a comment back. And you might get an interaction with somebody back. But you don't you don't get anything for that interaction. Whereas what we've seen over the last couple of years is reports of passwords being leaked and data being sold. Effectively, everything that I do, we do, interactions, time stamped, you know, places we go to, people use it to emphasize creating audiences around locations and activities and interests i guess so it's been a it's been a real surprise and a validation that i've spent the last 12 months as a mod on the steam hunt platform helping out there doing moderation on a day-to-day -day basis um going through different hunts and sort of listing or delisting or commenting and upvoting and i've done a hell of a lot on that platform and i've been rewarded for that in hunt tokens and so I've accrued quite a few hunt tokens in the last year. And this morning I did the whole transaction from the MetaMask wallet and then deposited that into Daybit, which is an exchange. Now, I'm not one to store lots of value on exchanges because I think the, they're just prime location for somebody to hack them. But I wanted to step through and go through the experience. So it was kind of a, a bit of a shock to the system because I'm used to Steam kind of confirming within three seconds that you have to wait for 30 confirmations on day bit from Ethereum. Luckily, it's really fast. And so it opens, it's funny how these cryptocurrencies open up a bigger discussion about your time and your value and, you know, learning the skills of being able to operate that stuff, move that value around these different systems. So I kind of understand the gas system. It's like slow, medium and fast lane of a, of a freeway on Ethereum. So I paid for the fast just because I wanted it done and I wanted it out of the way. It cost me like 18 cents, but it was like a speedy transfer. Happened in probably less than a couple of minutes. 
and uh, it was just really nice to see the value of the amount that I'd put across with the current trading value. Now, I'm not interested necessarily in just putting all the stuff on there, all the hunt tokens on there and just selling it, taking money out and just like having the fiat kind of defeats the purpose of it. Yes, I have debts like everybody else, got things that I need to pay for. But it, it has made me realize as a virtual worker, as somebody who likes to work on his computer remotely, doesn't want to commute anymore, don't want to go into an office, don't necessarily want to work physically face-to-face -face with a startup, maybe go into the, a startup every few months or something. But I actually enjoy working from home, working from a location. So it's been liberating and eye-opening about where we're heading in terms of the storage of our value. And my value is the time and effort that I put into being a mod on a Steam Hunt platform. I get X amount of hunt tokens per week for being a mod. I get X amount for hunting things. Uh, I have a personal goal of getting so many products on there because I actually use Steam Hunt as a bookmark manager because I have a profile on there with all these cool like services, hardware, you know, eco pro uh, eco projects. These are all things that I'm interested in and will probably forget. Uh, or I've put on a link manager somewhere in the past and it's either got acquired or got shut down or they've wanted to charge a fee. So now I have an immutable record of all of those links that I can always find because I know they're always going to be on the Steam blockchain somewhere under the Steam Hunt DAP. But it's made me realize that, you know, I could quite easily take some of these hunt tokens and put them into other cryptocurrencies, other communities, store that value, those 12 months of time and effort and sweat and tears, um, and put that into other communities on the Steam blockchain that I like. Activit, for instance, could be one that I, I go and invest my time in. But also, I've got the opportunity now, if I want to, to be able to kind of step away and put all of my value into delegation into Steam Hunt and let that be like on free play if I wanted to and get a good return on that per year so I can go off and work on something else. All the time I'm accruing a, a kind of state of value whereas before with social and just pictures somebody else was making the money from my interactions and I was getting nothing. So I really like this kind of programmable uh, algorithmic kind of expression of human participation right there's always going to be people who gain that but i really like the idea of your time had a value and this is what it looks like and i can trace it back and feel rewarded that that time wasn't wasted because now i have something yes admittedly it's just numbers on the screen and it's not been physically turned into something that affects my day-to-day -day life but it gives me motivation empowerment it inspires me to do more in communities, in different communities around the world, without feeling like, oh, well, why get involved? Because it's, I'm not going to get anything out of it. And I think there's a lot of people like that in society that have tried and tried and tried and hit that glass ceiling, be it in a job role. I know women get paid a lot less in their job roles than men. Um, so I, I feel like this is kind of an abstraction layer of, um, how a human can express their digital value in the 21st, 22nd century, 23rd century, like moving forward. Blockchains aren't just going to be a technology. They're going to be a means of being able to delegate that human value into the things that you love. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's what I wanted to say. All I can say to the Steam Hunt team, it's been flawless so far in terms of the launch of the wallet, being able to send out from the wallet to Daybit, um, just being able to see that figure in there, it just gives me a gives me the feels that I've worked on something that now has a it's like a it's like a virtual pat on the back that you've done a good job and it feels pretty damn good. All right, that's it for me today. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Drifting slow.